So, part two of the Back to the Future trilogy build. This is the one that features the flying DeLorean, and I've decided to pick out the scene towards the end of the movie, where Doc's flying in the thunderstorm and gets struck by lightning and gets sent back to 1885. This build's going to be a bit of a hard one, so I've drawn myself this dodgy diagram, just so I can see all the different layers that I need. I've already got some components ready. I've printed out the Lion Estates logo on some photo paper here, the way I can glue it to a piece of wood and make myself the billboard. I've also 3D printed the estate entry sign. It comes in three pieces. I'll glue that together and give it a paint job. I also went to the hobby shop and picked up some fake grass. This will add to the scenery. And apart from those, I've got myself some craft wire to try and make some lightning bolts. And also I need to figure out a way of how I'm going to make the pennants. But before I do any of that, I need to take my mold here. This is just a dishwasher safe container. I'm going to pour some green resin in the bottom just to act as our base layer and then pop it in the pressure pot. For the base, I'm going to use three different shades of green. I've got Peacock Shimmer, Apple Green and Spring Green. So now we've got the first pour done, the next thing I'm going to do is pop this in the pressure pot and check on it in a few hours. While the resin was in the pressure pot curing, I glued all the parts together from the 3D print and gave it a coat of paint. I think I found the solution to my pennant problem. I cut out all these little triangles from some coloured sticker and now I'm just sticking them onto a piece of cotton. What do you guys think of that? Doesn't look too bad. Now that I have the sign and the pennants finished, the next thing I need to do is the billboard. I've got myself a piece of MDF here. I'm going to paint it white and then put on the sign. While the billboard's outside drying, I need to start work on the scenery. So after looking at some movie screenshots, I'm going to have the entrance to the estate on this side and then have the billboard on the other side. Now I'm not too concerned about how much road I actually have because the focus is going to be mainly on the flying DeLorean up above. Noticed in the movie shots that the entrance to the estate has like a gravel road because I haven't quite finished it yet. So I'm going to put that in now and I'm also going to put a bit of sand in along the road and some tufts of grass.
landscape's finished, it's time to put this back in the mold and do our second pour. Now I've got to say, I'm really nervous about this one. To try and help reduce the heat, I've put my air conditioner on in the workshop and it's also 8 o'clock at night, so hopefully those two things will help bring the heat down. And just like part one, we've got the in-pot footage back. Hopefully nothing melts in there. All right, it's time to take this out. Let's hope it's not a failure. You guys would already know though, because you've seen pot cam. You know, I spent all day working on this. I really hope it worked out. Oh no. We got some bubbles. I can't believe that happened. I sealed that timber really good. I can't believe all these little bubbles come out of it. <sighs> Mum? Mum, is that you? There, there. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamt I stuffed up another resin casting. You did? What? That's definitely disappointing, but you know what? I know exactly how I'm going to fix it. Son of a bitch, it didn't work. It's my fault, the whole thing is my fault. If I hadn't tried to get the damn bubbles out, none of this would have ever happened. I just have to go back to the future and stop myself from burning it. And just like that, we're back, exactly where we should be, except we have no bubbles. I say just like that, but it did take me a whole nother day to get back to this point. There's no way I could have continued on with those bubbles. So I've got the DeLorean all sealed up, so now I'm going to attempt to put some lightning marks on it. So I've got some glow in the dark powder and some UV resin here, and I'm going to strategically paint some lines on it, so it looks like the way it did when it got struck by lightning. Well, 
I got the glow and the dark pigment out, I'm going to coat this bit of craft wire that I've shaped like a lightning bolt. It's now time for me to make the flame trails, and I'm going to do these ones a little different to the first one. In the first one, I just painted the flame trails directly on top of the resin, but in this one, I'm going to suspend the DeLorean in midair, so I'm going to have to make the flame trails separate and stick them onto the back. So to do that, I'm just mixing some acrylic paint with some UV resin, then I'm going to paint it onto the silicon mat, and then hopefully I can just peel them off. Now all that's left to do is glue the pennants to the door, the lightning bolt and the flames to the back, and then we're ready to cast. You should probably get a good look at these flames. I don't know if they'll look this good once it's been casted. I hope they do though. So after thinking about it for a few minutes, I decided to put a join in between the two flames. Hopefully you won't notice it too much and hopefully it'll stop them from splitting apart. So all that's left for me to do now is to position the car where I want it and pour our next layer. So as you just saw, I had a little bit of trouble getting it in the right position, but I think I've got it now, so let's do the pour. Well, I honestly thought one cup was going to give us a bit more than that. I still don't want to push my luck with two though, so I think we're just going to have to run with this and I just really hope we don't see all these pore lines. Right, let's get it in the pot. Let's hope pot cam's a bit nicer to us this time. So I guess you guys just had the best seats in the house to watch that happen. I can't wait to go back to pot cam and see it for myself. So I guess the question now is, do I drill a hole down to the DeLorean and put the wire in, or do I just leave it? 
I know if I drill the hole, the epoxy from the next pour will fill it in and you probably won't see it. And I really do think I need the lightning bolt. Not gonna lie, this is pretty scary. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger hole. <laughs> All right, let's hope that works. Let's get this next layer done. Well I think I got pretty lucky with that, you can barely even tell. So for the next part, I'm going to cut down this lightning bolt level with that pour. Then I'm going to add some satin silver black to some resin and make our dark and stormy sky. Well, that wasn't easy. Now I'm ready for my next step. Where all the sky dribbled down the front, I need to sand and polish and buff it all up, and I think I might even make a stand for it. You know, I've been sanding this for a little bit, cleaning it up, and I think I've changed my mind. I want to sand some facets into it and make it look like a gemstone. Well now I've got some work to do, I've got a whole heap of sanding and polishing in front of me. Looks like I'll see you tomorrow. I decided to have a break from sanding for a bit and I made a start on the stand. I'm using the same wood that I used in part 1, which is called Merbo, and I'm going to make this one kind of look like a skateboard. I've used the same LEDs that I did in the first one, and I ran them exactly the same way. I'm also going to put some white resin over the top to hide the LED. And to power this one up, instead of using the cell batteries, I'm going to use a USB cable. So I'm going to continue on with this now, I just need to glue it together, shape it like a skateboard, and then it's all finished. It's now time for me to put a finish on the stand, and to do that, I'll be using some linseed oil. And while we're here, I want to mention that for this weekend only, I'll be running a pre-Christmas sale in my Etsy store. You can grab yourself 10% off the entire store. So if you want to start your Christmas shopping early, I'll leave a link to my Etsy store at the top of the description.
before I show you guys this week's project, I just want to say a big thank you to all the kind messages on the last video. I did take your advice and I did have the week off. And as you can probably tell by my voice, I did unfortunately get sick. But that's okay, I did manage to get it finished. And in my opinion, I think this is one of the best projects I've ever made. And if you thought so too, it'd really mean a lot to me if you could share this one amongst your family and friends. It really helps my channel grow. Now let's check it out. <laughs> 